with Jared Rogers on the pole and now the Swan Energy Kinrad get his horsepower Mars built custom the 20 of Rondi Sanders will start alongside as heat race number two for our modifies coming back to the green flag Rodney Sanders will take middle groove off. Down the back straightaway, your leader. Three wide again. Contact, bump, bang. Yep, you got him. Look at that. They drive back around. And an ID car. Thank you very much. Scott Daniels, unfortunately, will be at the back of the field as we say. Green flag racing with Sanders showing the way. Great bird out of Mina, Oklahoma. In second, here comes Joey Galloway in Eagle Motorsports 01 out of Manor, Saskatchewan, Canada with Jeremy Payne in car 186. Payne has come flying through this field from dead last and look at him now in fourth. Payne with a great show here tonight as does Sanders from his heat race here in car 20. And Joey Galloway, strong run here tonight for the 01 car in a new drill generator overnight wraps GRT car. In that number two spot is Rodney Sanders is checking out. Rodney Sanders out of Happy, Texas. The Swan Energy car number 90. The leading here in heat number two. <coughs> Sanders continues to hold that straightaway lead. The 66 car, Greg Burt, back to the number four position. Jeremy Payne on the inside of Joey Galloway for second to the start line. He's got it. The all guyer, Roush Yates Power. Car 186 at Brian Birch Motorsports, Davidson Trucking. The number two spot, but he can't even see him right now. He is out and gone. Rodney Sanders as we come to the white flag. Sanders puts that Mars built custom down the boulevard in a Swan Energy car 20. The Kinrad will win at heat number two. Second place will go to the Integra Round Shades GRT of Jeremy Payne. And third place again will be Joey Galloway out of Manor, Saskatchewan, Canada in the 01. Heat number two is down, heat three is in staging. And on the pole we'll find from Westport, Minnesota, Bob Gerke in car 26. John Allen from Chanute will put the 98 car to the outside of row one. Johnny Scott from Arroyo, Hondo, New Mexico in the 1ST with Justin Rexwinkle out of South Coffeeville, Oklahoma in the 23. Row three is Trevor Hunt in the 99H with Austin Siebert, the Kenny's Tile, car 16. Row four, Dennis Bishop from Chanute, car one, with Fido Gallardo in the G17 out of Las Cruces. Row five, Steve Whitaker Jr. in 89 out of Corpus Christi, with Doug Hilson in car 72 out of Blooming Prairie, and Brad Buck out of Paragold, Arkansas, starting in shotgun on the field in car 22 in the Brandon Brothers Farms. Entry, that is your lineup for Heat race number three. Johnny Scott, Justin Rexwinkle. Heat race number three, round two. Here at Humboldt Speedway for the King of America as they come back to the green flag, we're underway. They thought about three wide at the flag stand. They thought about it into one and they're gonna make it work off of turn two. And look at this, 
Thinking it four wide into turn three. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger and back out of this. And John Allen will lead the lap number one. Gerke in second. Johnny Scott sits in third. Then you see Rex Winkle in the 23. Austin Siebert. There's no room to move in the 16 car. The Kenny's tile with Gallardo now getting into mix of G17. Trevor Hunt. Here he comes, a young gun, the 99H, the FVP, and Steve Whitaker Jr. out of Corpus Christi, the 89. What a race again here tonight, three wide, and John Allen gets the boot. High side and gone. I'll tell you what, Gallardo is pinching the corner. And one more time, he's going to be right up over the tires. That G17 out of Las Cruces trying to make some hay in that bottom line as they'll continue to chase now. The 1ST, Johnny Scott, the Ramirez Motorsports, pro powered, huge chassis out front, hit it up in Heat 3. Rex Winkle in the 23 out of South Coffeyville, the Sharp chassis in second. Bob Gerke out of Westport, Minnesota, in the number three spot. And that ain't going to be long because here comes Gallardo. Gone. See ya. He has got the position now. John Allen trying to fight back again in con number 98. Steve Whitaker Jr. in car 89. Looks on the inside of the 26 car. Gerke says there's no room in the end right now as we take green flag racing. Johnny Scott, Justin Rexwinkle, 1 2. Then you find Vito Gallardo in a Gallardo Construction GRC car G17. Top three. And again, there are three wide. John Allen rumbles through a little divot in turn three, and that car just jumps. Right beside the 26 of Bob Gerke. White flag here tonight in heat number three. As the Swan Energy Boom Test, Red Bone Fishing Rental, Johnny Scott out front and putting a big point on this one. He started third on the field and will win heat race number three and Johnny Scott and the Swan Energy your winner. Rex Finkel finished second. Gallardo comes home third and Austin Siebert. Nice showing for him in a night. Started sixth and comes up to number four spot in car 16. Jake Tim, Terry Beckham. And Muhlenberg has now moved up. Beckham a no show after the incident is he raced. And Muhlenberg will lead him back into turn number one off of turn two. Out of Sparta, Missouri, in a John's Road Boring. Car 33, he's side by side as they battle for the top spot. Off of turn four. Yeah. Jason will be in second out of Winona, Minnesota, the Mississippi Thunder Speedway sponsored car number 10. Outside, Jake Tim inside, and Tim now with the advantage. And here comes Justin Polk in car number six. But they better be, because look at car number two, John Tesh. He went earlier, started six on the field. He's now to fourth, and third place is just about a straightaway away. John Tesh, the Watertown Wizard, alongside of Justin Polk, and Polk isn't letting him have any room to play as they hustle back into turn three, as well up front for that lead. With Muhlenberg and Jake Tim continue to run one or two. Lucas shot back there to number seven spot, trying to follow Kelly Shryock through. Shryock, who started 11th. We'll look through again, trying to crack up a lead that top five now. And Kelly will have it as he goes around Michael Baggard in the 160. John Tesh 
continues that good race here tonight with Justin Volk out of Iola in car number six. And Gillibert now has opened up a five-six car length lead over Jake Tim out of Winona in second. <coughs> This race for second is shaping up to be a burner here in heat number four. And John Tesh has now caught Jake Tim. He goes inside groove off of turn two, dead even into turn three. Now how bad do you want to drive it? How bad do you want it up on the wheel for second place? Jake Tim. She tries to make it clear that doesn't work, and here comes Folk back. Justin Folk in car six. My life, this is just for points to move it up. And Steven Muhlenberg leads. Now back to second is Jake Tim. Justin Folk in third, and John Tesher now in fourth with Kelly Schreier fifth. What great racing on this beautiful Humboldt Speedway as Dean Millenberg will win. Second will be Jake Kim and Justin Folk will finish third. And John Tesh will take care of the top four with Kelly Schrock in fifth. Boy, I tell you what, a tribute to these drivers. I mean, they are drivers. You can see why these guys are the cream of the crop. But what a great race surface you've got here tonight. Ryan Whitworth and the boys have got this place just spot on from after practice here today. And these guys are doing two, three wide, four wide. They're thinking about at times. And we're now ready for heat number five. For Forest Lake, we'll find a little giant hot shot products. V2 of Joey Jensen. And from Parsons, Kansas, 48S of Travis Smith. Road two. It's Dale Matheson out of Clearwater in a 9M with Joe Duvall out of Claremore, Oklahoma in a 91. Adam Schrag will start the 311 inside of row 3 with Jason Cummins in the 71. Row 4 from Stillwell, Oklahoma, it's the 51 of Eddie Martin and Joshua Everhart again in the 21J. Row 5, here comes TP, Terry Phillips and Andy Frozen Custard 75 with downtown Chris Brown in the 21 and Bryce Schneid out of Wichita and Blue Water Products 21B and starting the 11th here in session two, heat number five. Caution light is off and here we go. Jason Cummins being put to the back for being late on the start. We'll line them up two by two, 11 cars again for 10 laps, we're back racing. Joey Jensen on the bottom groove, the V2, there's a 48S, Travis Smith in second. Dale Matheson in the number three spot in the 9M as we work lap number one, three wide off of turn four. Look out and we're going to see our first incident in a heat race number five. Looks to be Joe Duvall involved, car number 91. He sits down and Bob got the track blocked again. Hit it on in turn number two. Yeah, those guys are all stopping. Caution light is off. And Joey Jensen out of Forest Lake. The little giant hot shot products. The Pet Lodge sponsored out of Minnesota. Here comes a Forest Lake driver. Green flag flies, we're back on our way with one down. One down, and they are going three wide again off of turn two. As they come back to the line here tonight, it will be here. Jensen, your leader. Travis Smith in second. Matheson in third. Here comes Terry Phillips now, the 75 car. Coming from back of the field, Phillips started 19, now up to number four position. Adam Schrag gets put down one more spot in the 311, and they are putting a sandwich to him here tonight. Second, and you see 
the rest of this field shaping up. 48 is Travis Smith, and here comes Phillips. Phillips now will go upstairs. And Hatfield race engine, car number 75. GRT by Phillips, Don Bad Motorsports. Going to make it three wide with Mathis and Economy Nine. There's Jensen, your leader. He is tucked up and gone. But second, third, fourth, and fifth. That is a battle right now with Mathis. And here he comes. Travis Smith, the 48S, and Terry Phillips in the 75. Three wide action here at Humboldt Speedway in turn four. I don't care where you go in the universe. You can go to Bogota, Colombia, you can go to Bangladesh, you can go to Oxnard, California. You're not going to see this great action any place. Nowhere, no how, can you got here for the King of America here at Humboldt Speedway. What a race we've got here tonight. And this is just a warm-up for Saturday night's big dance. And we've come to the white flag. Terry Phillips comes from back in ninth to run in second. Matheson sits in third, but Joey Jensen will take this one wire to wire out of Forest Lake. The V2 car will win in heat race number five. Phillips will finish second, Matheson third, and downtown Chris Brown makes that hard charge in 21, starting from 10th top to come over the, the top four. Top three of the scale, V2 75 and 9M, V2 75 and 9M to the scale. Eight number six waits on the back straightaway. You what? And on the pole from Sedalia, Missouri, we'll find Terry Schultz in Connor 90. It'll be Derek Ramirez out of Woodward, Oklahoma, and a boom test Coors Light 4R outside. Road 2, Jason Hughes out of Watts, oh, Oklahoma, the Hanson Tire Service Mullins Powered Car 12 with Aaron Olson still scores out of Mackinac, North Dakota, and a Harris Chassis Car 14. Cody Erickson. And Erickson Farms, car 1X inside of row 3 with Don Gerritsen Jr. out of Rock Rapids in the 27. Row 4, Jeff Connor in a power lift of Jefferson, car 36 with Jim Bodie out of Diamond, Missouri in car 71. Chris Tonoli from Hermitage, Missouri and Lucas Cattle, Kirk Racing 71 with Dan Fetters out of Montour, Iowa in a Keeker Logistics Group, car 26. And the Do final I, spot, the starting well, 11th, we've had several, we've it had will be Jordan Grabowski out of Beatrice in the Summit Machine, car number 30. So there you go, your lineup again for heat race number 6, here tonight at night number 1, session 2, heat number 6 here at the home. Heat race number 6 coming around off of turn 4. Green flag just played and we're back underway. Terry Schultz, Derek Ramirez, and their red bone fishing rental alongside of Terry Schultz. Side by side as we work lap number one. Hughes now up to third. Three wide again, trying to make four wide, and yeah, now they funnel back down to two and two. Jordan Grabowski making a move at car 30. Problems on the front straightaway as they come off a of turn four. You see the 36, Jeff Connor, and a power lift of Jefferson. Get tangled up and face the wrong way, and we'll see if all the tires are up there. He will tag up to the back of Derek Ramirez, a leading Jason Hughes, Terry Schultz, and you find Cody Erickson in the 1X. How many down ties? Two. Caution light is off. Green flag flies and we are back underway at Humboldt Speedway. Eric Ramirez in the boom test Swan Energy leads. Here comes Jason Hughes inside of Terry Schultz as they are wheel to wheel down into turn three. Grabowski with another shot like a cannon. Now pulls up alongside the 1X car Cody Erickson. 
Jason Hughes in second. Derek Ramirez leads Schultz third. Erickson is fourth and Grabowski top five. Got a battle for the lead into turn three. Jason Hughes out of Watts, Oklahoma, the builder of those Hughes chassis, puts a Mullins horsepower on the map. And the rainbow graphics, car number 12 will be your new leader. Opens up the lead over Ramirez in second. In a Hughes chassis, pro power, horsepower developed in Wisconsin. Perry Schultz out of Missouri sits in third. Fourth place is Cody Erickson and Jordan Grabowski again remains in top five from starting 11th in car number 30. Derek Ramirez runs that bottom groove. Terry Schultz and a long fellow sponsored car number 90. Schultz now keeps the momentum now in turn two. He gets within a car length, he's dead even as they come to white flag. One lap around. For heat number six is Jason Hughes showing away. Terry Schultz, he can get a drive off of turn two. I think he's got him. And he does. Car length lead into turn three for Schultz. High road, Ramirez on the bottom. It'll be Hughes picking up the win. Terry Schultz will finish second. Derek Ramirez comes home third with Cody Erickson fourth. And fifth place goes to con number 30, Jordan Grabowski. Top three the scale, top three the scale. 12, 90 and 4R, 12, 90 and 4R to the scale. Eight number seven is waiting. And again, for session number two would be Tom Tillotson Jr. on the pole in car 85, Al Perky in car 33 outside of row one. Robbie Gates will start row two in the 23G with Chase Sig in the 18JR. Row three is Josh Angst from Winona in the 99 with Tyler Davis in the 65. Row four, Matt Dotson in the 88D with Stormy Scott in the 2S. Row five, it's the Reaper, Ryan Gustin in the 19R and Josh Lannerman in the 4A. Again, starting 12th, 11th on the field, we should have Logan Martin out of West Plains, Missouri in the 36M. Your starting lineup, again, heat number seven, session number two. Two by two, the caution light is off. 10 laps again the distance. Heat race number seven, Tillotson and Perky. Bring them to the line, fire them up, boys! And now the back straight to head, Perky with the advantage, Tillotson in second. And we watch the field come for lap number one. Chase Sig up to third, Tillotson second, your leader. Again, Al Perky in car 33. Look out, you got one around and it is. Gustin. <coughs> Fires up the Gressel Racing 19 on our car. They will take up to the back of the field and we've got two down. Two down, eight laps remaining here tonight. In heat race number seven, session number two. 
396 modified touring series drivers as they come back to the green flag. Al Perky out of Coffeeville, Kansas, Tom Tillotson Jr. Run one, two, farther back. It's anybody's game right now. Here comes the storm. Stormy Scott, the two S out of Las Cruces. You had better get up on it and in a hurry because there is a storm coming and it's that two S car. Started eighth, he is now to third and he has one more. For session two, we'll find from Fairgrove, Missouri. On the pole will be Mickey Burrell in the 73 with Bob Lane out of Andover in the zero. Row two is Luke Driscoll out of Stillwell, Kansas, the 39. And Zach Vanderbeek got a new Sharon Iowa with a 33Z. Row three, Lucas Conley in car 17 with Bobby Malkus out of 4M. Row four, Jason Crowen out of Slayton in the 7K with Jason Persley in the 38C out of Hermitage, Missouri. Row 5, Dustin Lawrence out of Winfield, Kansas, the 64. And Dustin Boney in car number 22, starting Taylor Field, hit it on in heat race number four. Caution light is out. Mickey Burrell out of Fairgrove, Missouri. Zach Vanderbeek, the 33Z car. And again, the green flag is out. Here we go. Mickey Burrell, you can see those brake rotors glowing when he goes on both sides in the turn number one. We'll keep an eye as Vanderbeek goes upstairs and tries to take that lead off of turn four. Vanderbeek, your new leader. Mickey Burrell, back to second. Lucas Conley in the number four spot in car 17. Here. Now going inside of Conley for the number three spot. And he will clear and have that position. Zach Vanderbeek from New Sharon, Iowa. The Sunoco race field. Hughes chassis, spuds powered. Roll line buildings at KC General Store. 49 designs your leader. Really? This is very I hope you're fucking happy. This is for everybody. As they continue to run, green flag lamps tonight. What do you say? Vanderbeek, please. 
Mikey Burrell in the 73 car in the number two spot. Dustin Boney in the 22 car sitting in third. Then you see the 17 car of Lucas Conway. Conway in fourth. Bobby Malkus in the 4M car sitting in fifth. Zach Vanderbeek straight away lead. Out front, hit it on as they come to the white flag. We've got one to go. Dustin Cody covers the back of the field. In the number two spot, Mickey Burrell in third. In car 73. Checker flag flies and Vanderbeek will win heat race number eight. Dustin Boney will finish second, Mickey Burrell third, Lucas Conley fourth. In fifth place, we're going to Bobby Melkins out of Red Oak, Texas in a four-round. Top three of the scale, top three of the scale, 33 Z, 22 and 73. 33 Z, 22 off Jesse Willard, Dan Hilsemek. Off a of turn four, we are back underway. Jesse Willard showing some smoke. Car 40 out of Pleasanton, Kansas. Looks to have cleared up now as he brings around off a of turn four year leader. Still just a trace of Hayes coming out of the back end. Then Chester and Sons A1 Lawn Care. The GRT entry. And they are three wide again back into turn number three. Brian rolling the 20R car back into fourth as they bump and touch that 8S car John Sheets out of Nevada in the number two spot now here in heat number nine. Bill Simek the 22D back in third. Brian rolling now going the wrong direction as he goes back downstairs. And you see Steve Westheim making a move now on the top side in car number 90. Darren Fuqua in the 87 car as Westheim off the pace. Car number 90 slows on the back straightaway. Jesse Willard leading John Sheets in second. Brian Rowland, the 20R, and he goes around. He'll go down, he'll go down. With the 22 car of Dan Hilsebeck. Jesse Willard from the pole continues to show the way. Brian Rowland going to the back of the field, the 20R car. And again, green flag flies. Here we go. Car. Fuqua is there now. He will pull up to third. Make it second. Hilsebeck gets shuffled back. Here comes Jacob Gallardo and a J17 inside of Hilsebeck and he'll move to fourth. Moving the ADS of John Sheets back to third. Fuqua into second and the 87. And Jesse Willard to finish the lead. Third and fourth as we come to the white flag. One to go. Jesse Rillard out of Pleasanton, Kansas. 
trying to hold off the charge. Here he comes. Hilsebeck now, the 22D, getting back into it. There goes Fuqua way up the hill. John Sheets in the 8S is coming to line. It will be the 40 of Jesse Willard. Gallardo comes way from back in the field from 7th to finish up the number 2 spot. Fuqua in the 87 car wraps up the top 3 hit tonight. And wow, what a finish we've had to round number 9 in top session 2. Top 3 scale 40, J17 and 87. 40, J17 and 87. So here we go, 10 laps, 9 cars. Green flag is out and we're underway. Put those 33 cars together. Perking the 33, Vanderbeek the 33Z. Down the back straightaway. And to turn number three for the first lap. Which three will lead it? Which 33? Vanderbeek on the point. Perky in second. Here comes the two car now, Stormy Scott. Stormy Scott inside Al Perky. See ya. Goodbye. Take your car and go back to Kansas. You got New Mexico to second. You got Iowa out front and leading. Jordan Grabowski trying to hold up the Nebraska colors. And he pulls again with Tom Tillotson Jr. out of Oklahoma. Phillips. The 33 car, Stormy Scott in second, Al Perky in third, Tom Tillotson, then Terry Phillips, and a 30 represent Missouri. And the laps continue to click off 10 laps of distance here this evening. Stormy Scott going to make a race out of this yet. I got a feeling with Zach Vanderbeek. The Brian Roland Motorsports car 2S. Vanderbeek in the 33Z. The Sunoco Race Fuel Spuds engine. Again, the huge chassis leading the Loose Gruff 2. The Jimmy Owens built and prepped car 2S. for your support of Race in Action here at Humboldt Speedway this Thursday night. Until tomorrow night, as always, on behalf of Humboldt Speedway, and again, the United States Modified Touring Series, we'll see you tomorrow night right here at Humboldt Speedway. Have a safe drive home, and so long. Good night, everybody.